Welcome protege. In this project, we'll be using an N-channel MOSFET to drive a brushless DC fan with an Arduino Uno Rev3. Now, the reason why we need an N-channel MOSFET is because the Arduino output pins can only source up to 40 milliamps. Now, if we're using a 20% margin, we want to stay around roughly 30 milliamps. And this, this DC fan requires 200 milliamps at 5 volts, so we definitely can't drive this with one of the Arduino Uno pins. And to be able to, to drive that, we use an N-channel MOSFET. Now the N-channel MOSFET is a 3-pin device. It consists of a source pin, a gate pin, and, and a drain. It's a voltage control device and when we supply zero volts to the gate of the MOSFET the drain source channel will, will be highly resistive so it's almost like an open circuit and for that reason the DC fan will not work. Now when we supply 5 volts to the gate of the end channel MOSFET the drain source channel becomes less resistive and it completes the circuit from the positive 5 volts that we're powering the fan from to ground. So we're using a through hole NPN transistor which you can solder to modulus and then interface it to the Arduino Uno. Another thing you can do is use the Versa SMT canister and you can use the SOT 23-3 footprint to solder on a one channel MOSFET. We're going to use a solderless breadboard for this project. And so go ahead and place the end channel MOSFET on the breadboard. And I have it oriented so that the flat face of the transistor is pointing to the left. Now if we look at it from the front, or looking at the front face of the MOSFET, the source pin is on the left, and we want to ground that pin. The middle pin is the gate voltage, so that's what we're controlling with the Arduino Uno. And then the drain pin is where we want to connect one of the pins of the DC fan. Which in this case, the DC fan has a black wire and a red wire. So connect the black wire to the drain pin of the end channel MOSFET. And then connect the red wire to the positive voltage rail. Next you want to use a, a male to male jumper. This one is 8 inches long. Plug one end into the node that the gate pin is on, which is the middle pin of the MOSFET. Next you want to place the breadboard in the bottom storage compartment of the fuel can. And you want to plug in the other side of the male to male jumper into UNO pin 2. And then we have to provide power to the breadboard with the banana jack to test lead cables. So we'll plug the black one into the ground banana jack. And connect that to a male header pin. And then we want to use the red banana jack to test lead cable. And plug that into the 5 volt rail. And connect that to the male pin that's plugged into the positive rail on the breadboard. The software for this project is rather simple since we're only controlling one pin. So in our void setup function we set the UNO pin 2 as an output since we want to drive the gate of the end channel MOSFET. And then in our void loop function we set pin 2 high which will set the gate voltage to 5 volts. And remember that we said this allows the drain source channel to become less resistive so current is able to flow 
from plus 5 volts to ground to power the DC fan. We delay 5 seconds. Next we set the pin low which sets the gate voltage on the MOSFET to 0 volts which turns the DC fan off. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below or leave a question or comment.